My name is uh, Dr. Alad Maor, and I'm currently an uh, Interventional Cardiology Fellow um, in the Department of Cardiovascular Diseases here in the Mayo Clinic Rochester. Uh, we are publishing an original research paper at Mayo Clinic Proceedings, focusing on a research project I was involved in while I, while I was a General Cardiology Fellow in the Sheba Medical Center in Israel. Our paper describes how poor heart rate recovery is associated with the development of new onset atrial fibrillation in middle-aged adults. Experimental and clinical data suggest that autonomic nervous system may play a critical role in the initiation and maintenance of atrial fibrillation. Heart recovery, a simple and readily available marker of uh, autonomic dysfunction, has been established as a powerful and independent predictor of sudden cardiac death, of cardiovascular morbidity, and all-cause mortality. The purpose of our study was to investigate the association between heart rate re recovery and new onset atrial fibrillation among middle-aged adults. We uh, calculated heart rate recovery based on exercise stress tests among more than 15,000 apparently healthy self-referred men and women who attended a periodic executive health screening program between 2000 and 2015 in the Sheba Medical Center in Israel. All subjects were um, apparently healthy, they were asymptomatic, they were free of atrial fibrillation baseline, and they completed an exercise stress test according to the Bruce protocol. They were then followed up clinically on a yearly basis for a median of more than six years. The primary endpoint of uh, our study was a new onset atrial fibrillation. We grouped our subjects into two groups according to their heart rate recovery at five minutes, dichotomized at uh, the median value of 73 bits per minute. Our findings show that subjects with low heart rate recovery are more likely to be men, m are older, have higher rate of comorbidities, and are less fit. As you can see in the figure, Kaplan Myers survival analysis showed that the community probability of atrial fibrillation at six years was significantly higher among subjects with low heart rate recovery compared with subjects with uh, higher heart rate recovery. Older age, male gender, obesity, resting heart rate, and skin heart disease were all associated with increased risk of new onset atrial fibrillation in a univariate regression model. Interestingly, our multivariate Cox regression model showed that low heart rate re recovery was independently associated with um, increased risk of atrial fibrillation after adjustment for multiple confounders. Our main conclusion is that poor heart rate recovery is independently associated with new onset atrial fibrillation in apparently healthy middle-aged adults. Asymptomatic atrial fibrillation may be difficult to diagnose and its first manifestation may be a systemic embolic event. Exercise stress testing is inexpensive, readily available test and heart rate recovery is routinely reported result of this test. Heart rate recovery is a simple indicator of autonomic dysfunction that independently predicts adverse cardiovascular outcome and mortality. The results of the present study extend prior data. These findings suggest that this simple and readily available measure can be used to improve risk stratification for atrial fibrillation in this population and to direct further diagnostic and learned and monitoring efforts in high-risk patients. With respect to patient care, I think that patients who undergo exercise stress testing should ask their doctor about their heart rate recovery. Our study suggests that if the heart rate recovery at five minutes is below 73 beats per minute, they are at increased risk for atrial fibrillation. And um, lastly, I would like to refer to the next step for this line of research. First of all, there is a need for large-scale prospective studies to evaluate the consistency of our findings in uh, other populations. And second, I think that our results support the development of therapeutic approaches for atrial fibrillation based on modulation of the autonomic nervous system. I hope you find interest in our research article, and thank you for listening. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. 
If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.